What do you think we should do for the thumbnail? Hmm. I feel like doing like a watch could be kind of boring, but I'm like, hmm. Oh, like for time. Yeah. Well, that's kind of fun. Or we could be like fighting and you could uh, like, um, like put like, <laughs> like, <laughs> Like yellow flames and you have like blue flames. Ooh. And then it'd be green in the middle for Shigo. That could be fun. I could try to figure that out. <laughs> Fighting with our special little magic. Or like the claw. I don't know. The claw. <laughs> How she, cause she's always like swiping at Kim. No. Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Jess and I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to be talking about Kim Possible, A Stitch in Time, and we have a Yay! I'm back! Yay! Not for an animal movie! Not for an animal <laughs> movie! Oh my god, truly. Kim Possible, A Stitch in Time is a 2003 animated television release. It's directed by Steve Loader. Animation direction done by Barbara Dormaskin Case, Eddie Hoochins, Gordon Kent, J.K. Kim, Michael Lyman, Mercy Amanta, and Steven Silver. Editing done by John Royer and Ted Supa. Music by Adam Berry, and it's written by Bob Roth and Bill Motz. The film stars Christy Carlson Romano as Kim Possible, Will Friedle as Ron Stoppable, Nancy Cartwright as Rufus, Taj Maori as Wade, John DiMaggio as Dr. Draken, and Nicole Sullivan as Shigo. So this did air on TV and isn't considered like the official Kim Possible movie. You can't buy this anywhere. The official Kim Possible movie is so the drama, but that is the sequel, technically. Technically, I think it's the series finale, but this one, I found a lot of things that said it's supposed to be season two, episodes 13, 14, and 15. That is absolutely not the case on Disney+, Plus. so don't ask me where I found this because I don't know. I also, I had to flip it, and I had to slow it down to be able to watch this. So, there you go. There's that. Um... Let's get back to me and Brie. The last time I had a guest for the like new format, we kind of just stuck to the opinion section, but it felt like maybe we repeated a few things. So Brie is actually going to be along for these separate sections. And we're gonna see how it goes. If you hate it, oh well. Too bad. <laughs> for a television release, I think the animation is actually pretty decent, especially because this isn't like So the Drama, which was made specifically to like be the end or Kim Possible. This was. I think it, I mean, it did air on TV, obviously, but then supposedly it became part of like the seasons of Kim Possible. It was supposed okay. to be like episode 13, 14, 15 or something of season two. It is Interesting. not. Interesting. Episode 13, 14, 15 of season two. Um, but I think the animation is pretty good. I think the only time I had any thought about the animation was in the opening number with the with the cheering. <laughs> I think that was the only time that I was kind of noticing that I was like, you know, there's not a lot going on here, but then I didn't think about it the rest of the time, which would be a good thing. <laughs> yes, technically true. So one thing for the animation too, in the fight um, where they were at the preschool, uh, it had a really nice transition of when uh, Draken, Killian, and Monkey Fist were picking mm -hmm. on Ron, and mm -hmm. Kim's like, hold on a second, and it like jumped right into Kim coming down to like yes. smack uh, Shigo, and I was like, oh, I was like, they're playing around with the match cuts, like that was yes. really cool. Yes. Personally, edit-wise, I think this flew. This movie is only an hour because so surprising. it was a television release. Yes, also so surprising, and it is... Uh, I remembered a lot more than I thought I was gonna remember, but it is from point A to point B to point C to point D. I think it flies. I think the edit does a, I mean, granted they're animating in a lot of the times, especially at this time, the animation happens right along with the edit. They don't animate normally more than they have to, except for things that potentially get cut. We're now getting into the territory that they would absolutely have an editor if they do have an editor. So I'm sure stuff hit the cutting room floor, especially because television is very strict on time because of commercials and stuff like that. So I think pacing edit wise, this flew. I agree. <laughs> you know, my Brit and I had, my sister, had uh, the Kim Possible soundtrack. Me too. So it was one of those, it, it was so much nostalgia. First yes. you get the, get up on your feet now, get on, oh no, I don't know the lyrics. But then, you know, the, the main one later on when she does her first mission and she's hopping through the lasers and you have yes. the, it's just you, doing the impossible, it's true. Something impossible, it's you. 
so those two, I was jamming out with those uh, two songs. Uh, and that, it was pretty much just like that really nice nostalgia from yes. having that CD yes. when we were younger and we'd listen to it all the time. Yeah. I also had, had the CD. I think I probably still have it. I didn't get rid of any of my CDs. It's in that giant case. Um, but I also listened to it. So I even remember the opening song because yeah. that one always came on. So the opening song was, it started and I was like, oh my God, I forgot this. I thought it was going to be in So the Drama because I figured oh. with this movie being like never released on DVD, never whatever, I thought it was going to be related to So the Drama, but then the music started and I was like, oh, I'm going to remember way more of this movie than I thought I was going to. I will say about the, the opening one because I do have a note too of that that opening song, you get the vibes of, oh, this is a movie. Like, yes. this is different. Yes. Like, it immediately set the tone yes. of, this is a movie, this is not, not just, just an episode. 20 yeah. minute episode. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and then I had totally forgotten about the Aaron Carter song, which is the get up on your feet now. Yes. So when that started, <laughs> I like, lost it. I started laughing. I was like, oh my God, I totally forgot. But I knew the song immediately. I was yeah. like, get up on your feet now. Gonna laugh or something. Um, so yeah, I'm with you on total nostalgia. Some of them are supremely iconic to my childhood. Yep. In regards to pacing, it was one of those things where I think overall, and this obviously, goes hand in hand with edit and animation, but starts with the writing where the opening and then the resolution, that arc, a little too fast. Everything in the middle, I was like, wow, it flew by at an appropriate time, you know, A to B to C. But right off the bat, I know, obviously, they were probably short on time, but I feel like a little bit more time on, you know, right before he's off to Norway and it happens yes, within a day. Sure, sure. It was like they, they hit that point and it, it was funny though um the the whole like the sign was our way of telling you when he's like why are you <laughs> oh gonna God, tell me um, and it's just immediate and then i feel like uh, in the back end uh you know everything gets resolved time time we see the day repeating and they have that little wave of like oh wow that was a weird feeling and then it's over it was just okay, like sure. a little so I, those were my only little gripes with the sure the pacing of it. What was really interesting, and I thought, I, I feel like it was it was interesting coming back to this as an adult too, because I remember as a kid, one, being a little like, mm, does all this time stuff make sense? Because like, I don't remember if this was pre-watching Doctor Who or not, or if they kind of coincided. And of mm. course, as like an 11 year old being like, I understand how <laughs> all of this stuff works. Um, sure. But I feel like it was one of those things where, I was like, mm, I don't think this actually makes sense time-wise. And then coming back as an adult, I was like, okay, the lines kind of do connect with everything. Mm -hmm. um, but what was interesting, I thought it was a little more secretive but uh, the first time around, but how they don't drop any pronouns of who the Supreme One is. Like it's, you know, as an adult, it's one of those things where it, it actually isn't like as hidden as I thought it was mm -hmm. kind of thing. But as a, as a kid, I remember being like, oh my gosh, the twist. Even though it's also like, you know, they make the comment of it was obvious, kind of like she's the only one capable of doing that. But I thought that was really cool. Um, and then though, adding to that with the whole, like it was Shigo, and then Kim even makes the comment of like, oh, I thought taking over the world was just a guy thing. And I was like, that is sexist, Kim. Uh, Bad on it. Like, you yeah. you save the world. Why mm -hmm. can't she go take over it? Come uh -huh. on. Like, she, even though Draken's your arch enemy, like, she's the yin to your gang kind of thing. Like, you're fighting her most of the time. Mm -hmm. So, um, it was just one of those things where I was like, obviously... I guess you could argue the script was not sexist, but I was like, Kim, come on. Yeah. I did like the origin story and I did like how we got to see both her and Ron's first meeting and their first mission. Yes. So I feel like I those agree. were on the technical levels. It. Now you can go to fun writing stuff. Yes. <laughs> My biggest like thing from, take away from the writing was that this is like genuinely funny. Like, yeah, there were multiple moments where me as a 28 year old adult laughed, Gen like not because it was stupid, not because whatever, like it was genuinely funny, especially Ron. I feel like Ron always yes. is taking the humor because, you know, it's Will Friedle. What are you going to do? But I think, you know, just like it t the tiniest stuff, too, is what always makes me laugh. Like you see 
when Kim's doing her first mission and they all cross over or whatever and baby Ron is like super <laughs> afraid of the big monster and then like grown up Ron comes and he's like dude personal space like yes. the growth that Ron has gone through he definitely still can be afraid sometimes with the fact that he like looks at this big thing and it's like get away from me like <laughs> I laughed so loud at that <laughs> because I wasn't expecting it I was expecting Ron to be like the same almost and be scared or whatever and be like KP what are we gonna do about that yeah. but he was just like dude I've seen too many of you just like <laughs> personal space took me out and there are multiple moments throughout that uh made me laugh and then just i had totally forgotten about anything's possible for a possible uh -huh. and i'm like listen that's adorable <laughs> like i can't that's a very cute thing for a family to say especially when the last name's possible like i definitely would have been that kid that's like okay dad but then later in life would have been like anything's possible for a possible <laughs> exactly like you have to go through that transition <laughs> yes. of like i love it i'm annoyed by it i love it again yes yes so i just thought you know i love when the especially the cartoons we watched as kids still hold up and are genuinely funny uh because this is definitely one of them so that was my big writing thing i was gonna say speaking of funny ron lines the you know in this light you're kind of cute that ron says to shigo still remember to this day like i knew it was coming for whatever reason that particular line just like i guess resonated with me but it was one of those things where it's like that line specifically from this movie i have always remembered it so i looked forward to it coming up again yes. and it was good i will say though um why are they bashing norway like i know it's supposed <laughs> to be like that was one thing i didn't True. notice it as a kid because you're like supposed to be like oh my gosh it's sad like he's not you know he's not there yeah but you know especially knowing what we know now and kind of like the quality of life that people in norway have i'm like why do you keep bashing it and acting like they only eat one food and like yeah. every scene i'm like yo nor is that that bad also um this is a minor thing. This is just nitpickiness. Sure. The particular uh, time when she was going to Australia and he was like, I'll meet you there. And he was late. I was like, he's closer. Like he's closer than she is. <laughs> True. <laughs> How did he not get there? And then they were in Africa, you know, that really small continent of Africa. They didn't specify where. Yeah. Uh, and they get there at the same time. I mean, probably still would have gotten there for it. It was one of those, those little things where I'm like, this is this is so minor. Well, you and could look at it as Kim has some kind of special transportation from someone and Ron which has is, to go through like customs and like all that kind of stuff. That is true, which is funny how we like also see that origin of like, oh, thanks. Like that she just gets driven uptown from like someone in their minivan compared to like what she does now. Right. But I also then, it makes you wonder like, does she get paid for this? Like, is she getting Truly, paid? How is she doing all these things? Besides <laughs> trips, I guess like, you know, trips and favors go a long way. But I would also kind of want to make some money, I think. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But if you like save a really rich person, those favors are it, true. big. This is true. Yeah. Do you know who I missed? This was so random. Senior, senior, junior, junior. I was thinking about <laughs> that. Cause I was like, okay, these are like kind of your main villains. But then I was like, you know what? The only ones who really, the other like more main ones was the senior, 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 junior. <laughs> and then there's the truck guy, but he, he was only I don't remember a couple. Him. I like definitely remember Monkey Fist and whatever the- Killigan? Killigan I, and Draken, obviously. I remember them three. But I was like, yeah, where's senior, senior, junior, junior? Yeah. <laughs> I miss him. Well, the mullet guy, he like had a blonde mullet and he, I don't remember what oh, his name yeah, was, yeah, but yeah. Know. But yeah, I missed him. Oh, and Queen Bee, that was only one episode. Oh, wow. This is surprisingly star studded. It's got really? like Elliot Gould, Raven Simone, uh, Freddie Prince Jr., Vivica A. Fox, Dakota Fanning, Gary Cole. These are all like very big names. Uh, Elliot Gould. I, I don't I'll know what the you would know. Of the video Elliot Gould. <laughs> well, I don't list some of these people because they're not main oh, characters, okay. but they're just like, which is what's shocking to me is like all of these people are like oh, random side like characters or a parent or whoever else. Oh. And uh, Elliot Gould, you've seen some friends, right? With Janelle, a he's little... Ross and uh, Monica's dad. Oh, I don't. Okay, great. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> But Raven Simone is Raven, you know. Raven. Yeah, I know, okay. she's money. Okay. Perfect. Freddie Prince Jr. is the oh, voice okay. of Iron Bull. No, I know who he is, but who is he in this? Oh, I don't know who. I don't remember who he is in this. Maybe one of the older twins. That would make sense. Um, and then Vivica A. Fox was older Monique. 
Okay. So it was Raven Simone and as right. normal Monique and normal Monique, <laughs> present day. Monique. I knew she was Monique. I, um, and then Dakota Fanning. Uh, I think she was young Kim, unless Christy was young Kim. Yeah, but I, I think she was young was Kim because I don't know how well she would be. She would be yeah. And then Gary Cole was, I think, Ron's dad. Okay. Or Kim's dad. One of them. I don't remember. But I was just like, yo, what? <laughs> and then, obviously, Christy and Will carry this franchise from Ends beginning to end. They are both incredible. Um, and they're still, I mean, they're still good buddies. They have a podcast together and everything. It's the best. I love them so much. That's so cute. I didn't know that. Yeah, they have a podcast together. It's the best. Um, and they still, like, they really want a Kim Possible, like, re- Dude, you uh, like, hello? Resurgence, whatever you would call that. Remake. I don't know. Um, or continuation. And Will, so funny. Naturally funny talent. And then obviously Christy is, was Disney superstar. I mean, honestly. Cadet yeah. Kelly, even Stevens, Kim Possible. What couldn't she do? She could sing. Yep. All of it. Amazing. And she is Kim Possible. Yeah. I hadn't seen this in so long, probably since it was on TV. Okay. Um, and I remembered more as it went on. Because I kept, like, throughout the movie, I kept being like, isn't Shigo the Supreme One? Like, I'm pretty oh, sure yeah. Shigo's the Supreme One. Like, I don't know why I feel that, but that's, mm -hmm. maybe I was picking up on context clues or foreshadowing or whatever, but I think I just remembered that Shigo yeah. was the Supreme One. Um, and then Rufus 3000, I did not remember, and it I took me either. out. He appeared, and I was like, this is the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> I, wow. Uh, so good. I remember that Shigo was the Supreme One, but I forgot about the Rufus 3000. A lot of the future stuff. Yeah. I kind of, I was like, Same. I remember she took over the world. and I, I remember like, the past. I remembered young Kim and young Ron. Yes. I did not remember any of the future stuff. Same. I, I think it was like, as it was happening, her first mission, I was like, oh, that's right. They try again. Like, I remembered the preschool, but then I was like, oh, that's right. They try one more time before Shigo takes the stuff and leaves. Mm -hmm. And I forgot future her talk to herself i thought she just did that too so that was kind of cool yeah i agree i agree um i also noticed i mean eventually outfits change but majority only kim's outfits change a lot of them all wear the same clothes except kim mm -hmm. but in the show i know it's like her green top and her blue jeans and then her right her mission out outfit. her mission outfit but through through this movie Ron's clothes started to change, but like toward the beginning, there was this whole sequence where it's like Kim's outfit kept changing, and it wasn't like her mission outfit and then whatever outfit. It was like her beginning outfit, a different outfit. Her, I and I was like, that. yo, why are her outfits the only ones changing and everyone else is in the same stuff? Huh. That's weird. But eventually, it, because they moved on to like young them early, you know, all that stuff, everyone's. And then Ron's in Norway, so he's wearing jackets and stuff. So <laughs> like his outfits eventually did change, but for the most part, he was in his like red t-shirt thing yeah. and his pants and then she would like be in a red shirt and jeans Aww. or a green like i don't think she was ever in her like green top crop top and yeah jeans. she wasn't in that i do rem remember yeah that. so huh. i thought that was so interesting maybe they only had the budget for her to <laughs> changing <clothes>. outfits <laughs> i remembered very much uh especially when they went to where is the first wherever you first go like out maybe it was australia I just remember playing this game on Disney Channel, like the on the website online. Oh, wow. it was okay. really hard. Like it was, and I think like knowing more now, it was just one of those things where I was like, okay, this is just it was a platforming game, and you had to get through the levels, and you had so many lives. But like you do the missions. I've never finished it because it was really hard, and you'd like fall with the stupidest. Was this stuff. also available on like uh, a DS? Nintendo. I don't DS. No, about it. Because that. I have a Kim Possible game on a DS oh. that's a platforming game. But I don't Is know it if it's the same. Stitch in Time? No, I don't think it was Stitch in Time specific, but maybe. I this one check. was I still have specific. It. I'll oh, have you to should. check when I get home. But yeah, it was just like, it was one of those, because you you do the windsurfing and stuff like oh, with I don't the remember that. okay so maybe. um and you might have dodged the lasers at the museum but it was just one of those where like specifically once you finished the like windsurfing thing that she had then you had to like go up on these things in the temple and it's like but the the platforming it's like you have to be so precise and it was it was really hard <laughs> wow dang so i that, had no I idea that's that. awesome i was like oh my gosh yeah video i game. just had a a Whatever that one was called, the short one with the flippy. The DS, yeah. Yeah, the DS. Uh, the I, I played, yeah. not the 3DS. No, yeah, I was like, wait, that's DS. later, yeah. Uh, I had a Kim Possible game. I don't think it was Stitch in Time specific. I, because I remember, like, you start in the high school. 
and you're like jumping and like trying to avoid puddles and that might and jumping have been, over and you the have lockers. To collect, like, like notes and stuff. I had to collect like little, I think little gems or something. I don't know. And then you like get outside and I think maybe you're going for like Camp Wanaweep or something. Oh. Yeah, so I remember that one. I was horrible at it. <laughs> um, but then I got a little bit better at it, and then Paul tried playing it, and Paul was too young to be playing it, oh, so no. he was not good at it, and he would get very frustrated, but I did have a Kim Possible game, so There we go. <laughs> Love that little moment where Kim goes to the future briefly, sees everybody in Shigo outfits, and goes, Dragon totally did it. Wow, he took over. <laughs> it was one Honestly. of those, it went over my head as a kid, but it was just funny as an adult also knowing that she was the supreme one, but like, on the other hand, it could just be like, oh, these are all my henchmen, so they all wear the same outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love how, at the end of the day, Draken was still the one that made them lose. Because, like, <laughs> they were ready to kill Kim and Ron, and then he was just like, Shiko, just do it, just monologue. And that made her lose. Yep. And I was like, classic, yep. classic. Yep, like, classic that's, Draken. That's why you don't listen to him. Yes. He's so dumb. In the best way. We yep. love him. We do. But he's done. Yeah. Yeah. The whole reason they lose? Yeah. Come on, Shigo, just monologue. Just just tell them how and you that, did my it. friends, was the end. Yep. For the Supreme One. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I have nothing else. I thought this was fun. I thought it was a good time. Mm -hmm. What would your final rating be? Um, hmm. And five is average, right? Or I mean, it's like up to you. It's six. out of ten. Okay. So whatever you would... You know, I'll, I'll give it like a. I'll give it like a six point five seven kind of thing, because okay. it's one of those where it's like, especially compared to so the drama. I know it's not like it was the first time, so I. We'll go with six point five. Love that. What should we do? Out of what? Communicators. Monkeys. Monkeys. It's monkeys? gotta be like the monkey the time idols. monkey thing. Time monkeys, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, minus seven oh. time monkeys out of ten. So we're similar. Ooh, similar. Six or nine. Nice. I like it. I like it. Um, yeah. Come Our on. total movie count is right somewhere. <laughs> Parent, that's and crack count are still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. Follow Brie on Instagram because she's fabulous. <laughs> so when I post. When she posts. <laughs> that's fine. They can just wait with bated breath. This is true. <laughs> um, uh, yep, I did that. Buy merch. Join Patreon. All She's good got things. got a lot of cool stuff over there. I She's do. got postcards and trivia. Yeah, the trivia and guys, come on. merch <laughs> coupons. Yep, coupon codes for merch. There you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Depending on the tier, you could just get a free piece of merch. Oh, there you go. See? See? That's what I'm saying. We'll Monthly podcasts. Uh, Weekly random facts. All fun things. Lots of comment, yeah. like, and subscribe. <gasps> but I'm not in charge of your life. You are. So you do you, and don't be Draken, Kill again, again, Monkey, monkey fist. fist. You can be Shigo. Shigo. <laughs> <laughs> and for good measure, send your senior, junior, junior. Yes. <laughs> About it. Thanks for being here. Thanks Yay. for having me. She's I can't wait to be back. I know. So the drama's oh. in January. Okay. Okay. So we'll probably be filming in November. All right, sounds like Woo! a plan. <laughs>